Hey guys, I'm gonna come to you today and uh, show you how to tie my Slim Shady split back PMD pattern. And this is a pattern that's built off the uh, Slim Shady series and uh, borrows from the PMD split back idea that's out there and kind of mixes the old and the new together to create something that I really like in terms of uh, PMD pattern to fish during the summer. So I'm going to start my thread, light brown, and this is a size 2718 hook. You can use whatever you want to use, 200R, something like that. And for the tails, I'm going to just use a fiber tail, hand fiber tail. In this case, uh, some Coq de Leon golden olive for the tailing material. You can use whatever you want to do. I don't really use the uh, split tails on this version. I go to uh, something more, uh, a little softer for the emerger version. So I'm just going to tie those tails in and then I'm going to form the body. This is a size 20 so it's a little bit bigger in size than um, some of your other smaller beta stuff that I've done in the past. So, uh, But it still uses this, kind of the same principles. So I'm going to start with my light brown thread, tie in my tail, and then I'm going to tie in some of this brown slim rib. That will be used for my ribbing. I'm going to go ahead and untwist my thread, make sure I get a, a smooth body back and then back up to towards the eye. So while I'm doing this, I'm stretching it and I'm making sure that the body is flat as can be to cover it up and nice, make it nice and even. And then I'm going to rib this forward. So just open segments. Tie it off. And at this point I always tell people you can you can tie this off and turn this fly into whatever you want it to be as far as a split back, a regular Slim Shady, a an emerger, CDC emerger, whatever you want to do. So with this one I'm going to go ahead and do the split back version. And what I use is more of a synthetic material. It's it's the same thing I use for the uh, the standard Slim Shady. It's two holographic pieces of holographic tinsel. And these are kind of the back straps is what I call it, the, the sides of the fly. So I'm going to tie one in close to me. And then I'm going to tie the opposite side. And they're off to the side a little bit. So I'm going to make sure I have a little bit of length to these because I want that thorax to show up. And then razor foam in yellow. That's what I'm using right here. So the thinner the better, and we're going to stretch it a little bit. So I'm tying this in right up on top as if it were a wing case. And I'm stretching to thin it out, and then I'm just going to put my thorax, my, my thread, as my thorax. I don't need it too thick or bulky. So I'm just going to tie that in, stretch, and bring it forward. There will be a little space at the front, so just a couple wraps, stretch, cut that off. So it's like a wing case. Now with these sides, I'm going to bring them up and over and at an angle, and just add a couple wraps. So I'm going to do that on both sides here. What I want showing is just a little bit of that yellow peeking out right up on top. I'm going to kick these back, a couple wraps cut them out and get them out of there. Now for legs you can use whatever you want to. You can put in some partridge or whatever you may want to use on these. Uh, I kind of keep with the idea with the Jedi Master pattern of mine. The legs on this one I like to use a strand of the midge body thread from MFC or the uh, micro glint from Semperfly. It's practically the same thing. So I'm going to tie this in, get it tied in, put a few wraps, and then cut this out. That way I have my legs 
built and sitting on the side. So I'm just going to get these, separate, and bring them back. Just a couple wraps to time down. And then I'm going to whip finish and cover those up. So just a little whip finish right there. Cut it. Now, like I do on my Slim Shady series, I have a little bit of that tan thread up at the front. I just want to go ahead and get a Sharpie. And I'm just going to hit that up on top and color that black. That just blends everything in. And for me, it makes it look a lot better. So what you should have is something like this. Two legs, each leg on each side. A little bit of that yellow sticking out. That tan thorax on the bottom end. Yellow up on top. That suggests that it emerger and uh, or trying to crack on, open that thorax. And this is unweighted, so this is going to sit up near the surface. Closer to the surface if you fish it that way. So, fairly straightforward, simple pattern using razor foam yellow and make it in, into a split back pattern. So it's worked well for me. It's fun to fish, it's fun to tie, and uh, the fish sure like it. So uh, for the upcoming summer, you want to make sure you have some of these. Again, this is size 20. You can tie them larger, you can tie them smaller. If you tie them larger, they will also work and pass as a little yellow sally stonefly nymph, so you can do that. But uh, this is a PMD version. Uh, I also tie them in a bluing olive version, but I like I really like the look of the PMD a little bit better. So. This is the uh, PMB version of the Slim Shady Split Back series. So, thank you.